everybody. Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. We are bringing back Love Me. Love Me. Your favorite and my favorite vacuumer of couches and sides of beds. Uh, Love Meg is on a journey to um, cancel herself. <laughs> it's on a journey to not succeed, I guess. And so she has decided to take a step away from YouTube and start her own website where you have to pay to watch her videos. <laughs> so I haven't seen the video. I imagine it's, you know, something's going on. Let's discover what it is together. Let's go. Dudes, before we get started, I got to do a huge shout out to my good friend, Jen, who is my exclusive cookie maker, by the way. So anything cookies or baking wise or inspiration for cooking, Jen's my girl. Look what she made me. I, I should have showed you these a long time ago when I got them, but I couldn't find them because the kids hid them on me. Jenna has a, a site called, uh, is a, has an Instagram called Sugary Splendid, where she makes these incredible cookies. And they're so good. And here's how I know they're so good. Because I had to hide the rest of them because she made more than two. She made like six and they all gone. My wife ate one. My kids ate the rest. They're so good. So for all your cookie needs, if she has time, she doesn't do this. She only does it out of the pure joy and love of making amazing cookies. And she's so talented. So I'm probably not even sure I'm supposed to share this with you, but make sure you follow her on Sugary Splendid on Instagram because she's so talented and sends me all my favorite cookies. So thanks, Jen. You're amazing. Oh, I can't wait to eat these bad boys. Woo, those look good. Go right to my hips. <clears throat> anyway, let's get to this video. If you don't know who Love Meg is, she is a cleaning influencer. Used to use her kids, doesn't so much anymore. People often wonder why I go after her. It's because she called me a pedo. So, yeah, that's why I do it. I haven't, I haven't talked about her a while because she's so damn boring. Um, but, you know, she's done something worth note. A lot of people are covering her. So let's take a look at this video and see what's going on in Love Meg's world. I got my Love Meg spray here, ready to go, just in case I need to cast out any demons and stuff like that. Um, pretty sure she that's another failed venture of hers. And let's see if what she's doing next is also going to be a failed venture. Methinks, yes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome. Welcome. She always says welcome with a W. Normal people say welcome, W-E-L-C-O-M-E. -E. She says welcome, W-U-L. I don't like it. If you are new here. So I am very excited to tell you guys what we have planned. You're not excited enough to not center yourself in your camera, though. It's bugging me a little bit, not going to lie. You're also not excited enough to put your camera in focus. That's great, because... The background isn't focused. That's good. Also, remember how excited she was about this stuff? <laughs> then people were like, oh my God, it smells like pure burning tires. It smells like dull hair that's burning. <laughs> it smells like your fridge went out of power before you went on vacation for a week and you had like chicken in there that you forgot about. And then you came home and the, every and you opened the fridge. That's what that smells like. It smells like when your dog eats something it shouldn't eat and then barfs it in the middle of the night and you're like, I don't really want to clean it, but it starts smelling. You have to clean it. It smells like the inside of your cast. Like if you get like, you know, you, I broke my arm when I was in grade three. I got hit by a car. And I remember when that cast came off, man. And I'm a dirt, you know, boys are dirty. And this is like in the 80s, like late 80s, when we used to dumpster dive and just be disgusting, playing the creek. That, <laughs> so when I sprayed that, it all the nostalgia came back. It smells like teenagers' feet. After they didn't wear shoes and they went outside for a while. It smells like tonsil stones. It smells like burnt ass hair. It's like, you know, when... <laughs> like when a vet has to express anal glands, you know, like for dogs, those poor animals. Pretty sure they put that shit right in here. <laughs> Sorry. It smells like my gym when the boys work out. It smells like the burp after you eat a hot dog. Like when you floss and then you sniff the floss. That's what it's... <laughs> Oh, this is going to be fun. You know that smell like you used to take a bus, someone would like have a cigarette and the bus comes up and they like put it out and then they put it in their pocket and get on the bus. That's what that smells like. Like you ever go to the gym and you have a protein shake 
you don't finish it all. There's like a little bit left in the bottom and you leave that shit in your car for like a week in the summer and then you open it, not remembering what was in it. And then it's like, oh, that's what that smells like. It smells like burnt diesel and cat piss. It smells like dumpster juice. You know, like in a city, if you've ever been in a city, like the dumpster guy comes, picks a thing up, all the juice comes out of one of those big containers. It smells like the juice, like straight up garbage juice. Like, it smells like the piss after you've had, like, a lot of asparagus. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to do it. Also, if you see little fluffy dog ears, that's Bailey down here. Thanks. Your dog's cute, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> he doesn't want to leave me because we just got back from our Disney cruise, and he's just all about mommy. <laughs> it's, just, it's a Disney cruise. It's what it, it is what it is. We're so much richer than you and just... It is what it is. Right now. So he's with me. But I know you guys are like, tell us, what is it? So we have decided to kind of move off of YouTube. Yes! So, Boom! Like, we're still going to be on YouTube. I'm still. Oh. So, no. I understand what these people say. We decided to leave YouTube. We're still going to be on YouTube. That's not what our life said. <laughs> We're going to be posting, I would say, two to three videos a month. The majority of my videos now are going to be over on a website. And I'll tell you guys all the incentives. Uh, are your thumbs going to be on the website? Because I'm not going there. There. Sorry. Look at your thumb. <laughs> um, the pricing for that, for the subscription over there, and also why we decided to move kind of off of this platform for the most part. Um, and it is because YouTube is just getting crazy. How? You clean shit. You vacuum the same ugly blue couch. You hang up your clothes. You put out fake food as decorations. What do you mean it's getting crazy? You don't have any like political opinions that are gonna get you shadow banned. What is she talking about? Your stuff is so vanilla. And I know a lot of people are kind of moving off of YouTube because they have put so many restrictions on their content creators. And what? it's like, I'm not able to post what I want to post, what you guys really want to see. I don't like what? Give me an example. I don't know how many times I've gotten um, requests to do like how to start a YouTube channel because people don't want to like. They might not want to watch an entire course or need to watch an entire course. I did a video on this last night, actually, guys, or two days ago, whenever you're watching this video. What do you mean you can't put out a YouTube how to do a YouTube? Mine got monetized, no problem. I didn't see any problems with that. What happened? What? Um, what? And so I would love to do a video. There are people who channels are dedicated to helping people make YouTube channels. And they have millions of subscribers. What is she talking about? Video on things like that or finances, how we've invested our money, things like that. What? But YouTube, because of the algorithm, will penalize me not just for that video, but also for the next few videos because it's not in my niche. Oh, I see what she's saying. Okay, so she, YouTube is... Okay, so you love Meg exists inside of a niche of cleaning. So she can't do the other videos she wants to do because YouTube will not give her the, the same exposure, which makes sense. I actually know that YouTube does that. Like my main niche here is the exploitation of children, the commentary. That's why commentary is a little bit easier to do on YouTube because I'm just talking. So there are videos that I do that do not get as much traction. Yes, it's actually true. So I thought she meant that she got like not monetized and stuff like that. But what she's saying she does a video outside of her normal content. YouTube doesn't put it in the algorithm. And I get that. YouTube, unless she started doing different content and stuck with it. Because last night in our video that we did on my live, the thing I told people to grow your channel, the best way to grow a YouTube channel is to stay consistent and release consistent content that's quality and YouTube will like you. And that, that is just so ridiculous. And when I started YouTube, it was not like that. Like you could post what you wanted, when you wanted. You could post mm. um, what your viewers asked for and you would just not be penalized for it. And you were just- She keeps saying that we're penalized. It's, you're not penalized. You're just, it's penalized by the way. Penalized. Um, you're just, 
YouTube awards content that is always consistent with the same type of thing because that's the algor algorithm you're in and it's going to suggest a video afterwards that generally it does. So, I mean, I don't know if she's completely right about this, but maybe, I don't know. It's interesting. More in control of it and I miss that and I think you guys do too because I've seen so many people say like, I miss the old days of YouTube and that is the change. I've never seen a comment like that. So, so she thinks that by going to a subscription-based website, not a Patreon, making her own thing, that she's going to make more money. I don't think she's right because those people who want to watch that content of you will watch it. Just because it's not suggested to them, you have subscribers who like that content. She's mad that she doesn't grow with that content. That is what has happened and that is what has forced people to have to conform to YouTube's rules. And I'm over it. And I think a lot of content creators really are over it as well. And so we're moving on to lovemeg.videos. Who, who else is saying this? Lovemeg.video not videos. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> the sparkles went on the top, but the title was down here. I have that link down below. In the love Meg dot video. Let's have a look. See, shall we? All right. Love Meg. Get access now. Featured videos. Probably ones that are already on your YouTube channel, by the way, access to original love Meg videos, and exclusive content, which is free on YouTube. So she's just going to, okay. Six twenty five a month. What? All right, so oh, so it's not six twenty five a month. It's eight seventy five a month, or forty five dollars for six months, or seventy five dollars a year. Are you serious? Who is gonna pay money to watch it when you can watch it for free on YouTube? The whole point of this type of content on YouTube is that it's free, right? No, it all goes to the landing page. Like it's free, so nobody. And I think if you read her comments, I guarantee the comments are going to be like, I love you, but I'm not paying for this shit. So, I mean, I guess she has a, a number in mind, right? So she says, look, I can make enough money to live off of if I get a hundred and like 2000 subscriptions or something like that. Right. At four at eight seventy five a month. So let's say she gets 8.75 times 2000 subscriptions. That gives her 17,000 money. That's a lot of money. So she's got what, 500,000 subscribers? So she's banking on 2,000 of her 500,000 subscribers or more or whatever. She's probably got a bottom line. She's like, look, I need to make 15,000 bucks a month or $12,000 a month or whatever it is. It's gonna be a higher number. And she's gonna rely on YouTube's AdSense to give her the extra money. So she's got a plan here and she it might work for her. Her Some of her fans might be diehard enough that she does, this works, but I doubt it. Description box, so you guys can just click it, head on over there. Um, the incentive for going over there is way more videos. So when we were yeah. on the cruise, I have two videos that are done, edited, but they're sponsored. And the sponsors have not gotten back to me yet. So it's been 10 days and I haven't posted a video, even though they're done, they're ready. And so that's another thing that I'm kind of tired of. So you're tired of sponsors paying you money. Oh, cue sad music. Oh my God, I'm back. <laughs> the horror. My sponsors didn't get back to me yet. I have to wait to upload my videos to get paid an extra 10 grand. Oh my God, my hoofing. Stab me with a spoon in my eye. You've got to be kidding me right now. What do these people never, ever, ever think before they say words? She's likely getting paid thousands of dollars for those sponsorships, and she's upset that she has to wait. There will be no ads over there, no sponsors, um, just me being in control of posting when I want to post. And like I said, there's going to be way more videos because of that, because I don't have to wait on a brand to tell me what you legally cannot post until these people watch it and approve of what you, what are you like? What are they waiting for? You are like you clean, you vacuum the bed. What are they? What do you say in your videos that are like, again, we make fun of love Meg because she called me a pedo. That's basically it. Her stuff is really vanilla, but then she started getting a little bit more political. She started calling out her haters and everything else. So maybe, uh, maybe she got like, she probably lost a bunch of sponsors too. After that whole big drama blow up this past summer, I think she lost a ton of sponsors. I have said about the product, you know, so that is how I know I'm going to be able to get up way more videos for you guys. Nobody sits on that effing couch. Nobody even goes in this room. 
That couch is brand new. If that was at my house, I'd have ketchup on it, freezies. We'd have, I don't know, cheesy dust all over it. That couch isn't even, you're not even allowed to look in that room. Those kids aren't even, don't even, like when you walk by it and when you come in from school, don't even look in there. That's that room. So I am guaranteeing two videos a week, but it could go to seven videos a week. I mean, whatever I feel like Whoa. doing, but I am guaranteeing two videos a week. Does she honestly think people want to see her clean the same damn spot in her house seven days a week? I, I mean, maybe initially her supporters will support her, but does she, is this like a long-term plan? Because no. Unless she's going to start getting political, which, of course, we know that she is very, very, very Republican, which is not a big... Everybody gets mad at me when I say that. I'm just saying. I'm calling... Her politics are very much conservative. Not a big deal. I'm just saying. Maybe she wants to have more of an opinion on that type of thing, right? She wants to be able to say those things without getting hate or getting flagged or whatever on YouTube. Maybe she's going to talk about money more. She's saying she's going to have videos about things she really wants to talk about. But if those things were actually good, you could make money on those on YouTube, too. So I don't know. It's going to be I'm not going to pay for it, but I'm sure someone will send me videos a week. So you guys know you will get at least two videos a week over there. Another incentive, which I feel like people are going to be really excited about, is I'm going to be posting oh. some of my older videos that I turned private. Oh, it's the trailer stuff. Maybe I will pay for a month. Six seventy five? Oh no, it's eight seventy five. Damn no, no. If it was six seventy five, I would. I'd pay eight seventy five. I don't know. Maybe we'll do like a little we'll pool or we'll pull some pennies. We'll go get those old videos so we can snark on them. Huh? Are you down? Are you down? I mean, I would. It's worth eight seventy five. A while ago, like maybe a year ago. I am interested in watching those videos. I really, really am. So, sh brilliant, Love Meg. Brilliant. They're going to be posted over here on this channel. So if you go over there right now, there's a few of them already up. We watched really? through them last night. Really? I was like, oh, I wish I could see those videos. <sighs> but I don't want to give her any money. I wonder if I can ask for a refund after. Hey, um, I figured out the ones that I was comfortable posting. I didn't watch through all of them because we're really just, we're just excited about this. We're ready to get it up. So there are. That's what she said. Burn. Some already on there, but sporadically, I'll be posting another one and another one. And um, so she's got a whole shit ton of deleted content from her days of being in a trailer that she was ashamed of for some reason, which is weird, that she didn't want to show anybody. And I have not, I've yet to see. Man, I'm excited about that. I'm so excited to give those videos back to you guys because this has been a long time coming and I've I hope she addresses why she took them down in the first place. Really been needing to go through those videos, but I feel like this is just like the perfect time. And th like I said, there's already a few over there. So head on. She's so damn excited. Like I feel, I feel her excitement. She's like, oh my God, like I'm just, I'm going to get extra money for those videos I was ashamed of. Yes. I promise you this. If I get my hands on those videos, I'm a snark on them. Over there, you can watch some old videos and more old videos will be posted sporadically, like just as a little treat. Um, Thanks. But I will be posting the majority of the content is going to be homemaking because that is my passion. So cleaning, homemaking, cooking, stuff like that. Cooking is your... <laughs> no. I'll give Love Meg that she keeps her shit tight in her house. I'll give her that. Even though it's all mismatching and ugly. Her stuff is clean, right? That is... There's not even... I can't even see a speck of dust, a scratch on a wall, nothing. Her stuff is tight. Let's be real. Give her that. Okay, even if her blush is weird, her stuff's tight. But, really? Cooking? Have you seen her make muffins? <laughs> Just saying. Is going to be the majority of what goes up over there. But leave your request. Like, write in, tell me, like, you... Somebody give her some real hard recipe to do. Please, give her a request. Can you please make me this thing? Cordon Bleu or something? And then let's watch that shit. Awesome. Want to see how to make your flowers last longer? I can actually do an entire video on that, and I can actually do an entire video on how we um, invested our money so we have retirement as entrepreneurs. Yes, I want to see that too. So I can do videos. Except, remember, she did a video. She said she's not paying her kids. So, what is she saying? On um, how to start a YouTube channel or Q and A's again, like. 
all kinds of things. You can't do Q and A's on your channel. She's lying. Q and A's on a lot of these people's channels get them the most views. Giveaways. I can do giveaways again. Like I don't think a lot of people realize like you would get penalized for putting giveaway in your title on YouTube now because people were doing giveaways just to get more followers. And I didn't know that either. And so YouTube kind of figured that out and then would penalize people who just wanted to do giveaways for their viewers. So no, they want to do giveaways to gain followers, which is, I don't understand why YouTube would be against that. Why does YouTube penalize people for gaining followers? That makes YouTube more money. Is she, I don't know if she's right about this. Now over there, I can do giveaways again. There's just, please give away some of this to the military. Send some of this shit over to Russia. Then they'll just, maybe that'll end the war. Everything good comes from moving to this other platform. Also, another good thing that comes from being a subscriber over on lovemeg.video is that you're gonna get to hear all the exciting news updates with our life, with the LoveMeg multi-surface cleaner, more <laughs> cleaners that we'll be coming out with. Soon. She keeps going. She just can't admit defeat. She can't admit defeat. Soon, um, all of those things, you're gonna be the first to hear those. You're also gonna get coupon codes over there. Coupon, not coupon. It's spelled C-O-U-P-O-N. Coupon, coo, coo. Not Q, Q, pawn. Okay. For I know half my people are drinking right now. I say it like that. For, um, the Love Meg multi-surface cleaner. And like I said, new cleaners that we're coming out with really soon, which I'm not allowed to talk about yet, but <laughs> you will be the first to know if you are subscribed oh. here on lovemeg.video. So obviously there's just so much good stuff that comes from moving to lovemeg.video instead of wow. staying on YouTube. As I mentioned, I am still gonna be on YouTube. I'm gonna be posting, I would say two to three times a month, maybe more than that, but really- So you're basically gonna do the same shit you do now. Okay. Like my entire focus is gonna go to lovemeg.video. Until I realize it doesn't work at all. And it, the all that I put out, the owls aren't working. And then in the two months, you'll see me back here on YouTube doing the same volume of new now because it ain't gonna work. It's not going to work, Love Meg. I promise you. So be sure to be subscribed. Over I mean, it might work if you had like millions and millions of subscribers. But even then, I don't think so. The higher you get on this channel, the more money you make. That's the level of life that you're used to living. Going to a fully subscription-based thing for anybody, I don't think work. Maybe Joe Rogan. It might work for Joe Rogan. But for most people, it would not work. Over there. With that being said, let's talk about how much that costs. So we've got three different payment plans. So you guys can figure out what fits your needs best. I have them written down your right needs. here. So your needs. We have that you can be billed monthly, which is eight seventy five a month. But why does the front of your website say $6? Six dollars? Six seventy five. That's false advertisement. And that is going to be the most expensive way to do it. So if you're like, oh, I'm new to the channel, I really wanna try it out, but I don't know if I wanna to commit to an entire year, then you can just do the first month before you decide if you want to stick around. Try before you buy. You know what I mean? So that would be 875 for each month and you can cancel at any time. And that one's called the thumb tier. It's, can't stop looking at her thumbs. By the way, so you're not like stuck in this plan. <laughs> I wanted it to be able to be very flexible for you guys. So you can cancel at any time, 875 a month. That's the most expensive plan. Or you can do it semi-annually. So six months at a time, and that's gonna be $45 for. Imagine this, you are a Love Make fan, which, okay, to each their own. You're gonna pay $45 every six months to watch videos that she gave to you for free before. Is she, does she honestly think this is gonna work? If this works, I'm gonna be pissed. The entire six months, okay? So that ends up being, what is it, 750 a month. The least expensive plan is to subscribe for a year, which is $75, and that ends up being 625, yeah, 625 per month. But you'll just go ahead and pay like the $75 up front for the entire year. So basically, it's what I've been giving you guys on YouTube so much. But you pay for it. 
So basically, what you've been getting for free, but now you pay for it. Everybody on board? Choo choo! Much more. No sponsors, no ads, no ads popping up. Like, that is. OMG, the 15 second ads were killer. That's right. Again, most people who support you will watch your ads to support you. That's what a lot of people do. So I don't think people are going to care. Like, everybody's doing a subscription service. Like, everybody. Discovery, TLC, Disney, freaking every single network now. And now creators think that they can jump on that. That's so crazy. Maybe someone needs to create a creator's one, right? So, like, a YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, blah, blah, blah. Those types of creators all come into one network. And then you pay a price and you can see all that stuff. Maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't. But I, I think she's really, really overestimating what people... <laughs> will do to watch love make really cool to me i mean i even pay extra on like disney plus so we don't have to have ads you know we do plan to you get ads on your disney hell no add to apps soon and then also we can add some more in-depth videos and like courses which would be an extra fee are you gonna take a course from this lady when her background is in focus and not her face are you gonna take courses from this person who can't even make muffins are you really gonna pay to take courses from her when I will tell you everything you need to, I can tell you how to film her videos for free. As long as you don't use your children. You do not need to take a course from Love Meg. Everything you can learn about this type of stuff is on the internet for free. But um, lots and lots of in-depth videos on a specific topic, like how to grow a YouTube channel um, or how to invest your money. How to um, piss off all your fans and lose subscribers by Love Meg. Like whatever you guys would like to see and we feel like we're kind of experts on um, how to have a happy... How to change the battery in your smoke detector. <laughs> Marriage. I feel how to put pillows under a table where they don't belong. It's a pillow. It doesn't go under a table. Okay? It's a pillow. Like, Justin and I always say this, like, of course we, like, bicker and have our disagreements and stuff like that, but marriage has always been, like, a huge passion of ours. You need a brush. If you, if you guys would like to see a course on marriage that's just very in-depth, a few videos back-to-back, -back, then we could add those to the site, and there's just, I'm so excited about this, y'all. I feel like this is what you guys want. You were so excited about this, and then we realized it smelled like pure bum. So, no thanks. Want, because I'm not able to post these videos on YouTube without- Stop lying, you're able to post whatever you want. Not being penalized, I'm not able to post giveaways. I'm just so tired of it, right? Like, I feel like you guys are too. So, let's move over to lovemeg.video. Let's, I feel like it's just gonna be a party. It's gonna be such a good time. I feel like there's just so much more in-depth things that I can talk about. Without you said this already twice. Being penalized and I'm more in control of it. You guys are more in control of. We're not in control of anything. You're in full control. What is she saying? What you get to see because if you request a video, I can do it. I feel like this is truly. Is she honestly saying that she can't do any of these things on YouTube? She's such a liar. She can do whatever she wants on YouTube except for like murder people and stuff. You could do whatever you want. She just doesn't get as much money for it. So stop. That's that's just tell the truth is all I'm asking. Just going to be like. Also, tell me the truth. My wife bought me the shirt. I don't like the color on me. She told me to ask you guys, what do you think of the shirt? It's, it's ugly, right? That's what I said. I'll tell her you guys said that. Like the best thing all around for me and my family, my sanity, honestly, because it's really annoying to have two videos that. You really want to post, but can't because of sponsors. No, you just have to wait for them to get back to you. A sponsor wants to see the video you're going to do, and I do this all the time. It is a little bit annoying, but whatever. You're getting paid thousands of dollars to do this. She's being really, really, really gross right now. She gets paid thousands to do those, and she's upset she has to wait a couple days to post them. Wow. With that being said, I'm still posting on YouTube. They will. We know you said this the, this the third time you said it. Still be sponsored videos, but I don't have to like stress about when those videos are going to go up and not being able to give you guys content because content will be going up over there on lovemeg.video. So videos. Holy shit, lady. Stop repeating the same damn thing. Where's my babas? will still be going up on YouTube probably 
two to three. Yes, you, this is the fourth time you said this. Three videos a month. Um, oh like gosh. I said, maybe four, but. She's doing that to piss me off. We'll see. We'll see what's going on once this gets started. I can't really like give a definite on how many videos are going to go up over here, but I can give a definite two to seven videos a week. That's thanks for the definite <laughs> two to 44 videos. It could be between this integer and this integer and the integers are spaced out. I'm not even kidding. Two to seven videos a week over You're there. You're not I'll even kidding that we're guaranteed two videos a week. When we got that shit free on YouTube, you're not kidding. I love Meg Dot video, and that is guaranteed. I feel like I've rambled. I hope you I rambled the whole time. If you were mentioned one more time that you're still gonna post on YouTube, I'm going to cut creepy makeup baby with a knife. Help me. I have given all the information, and I have said this clearly. I'm like a ball of emotions. I'm so excited about it. I'm just I'm I'm so excited about it, y'all. Are you excited? We got it. I feel like you can definitely tell, but I feel like I've like rambled through this. Yes, if you guys have you any questions, write them down in the comments and we'll read those. I will answer every one of them for you guys. Will you? So let's um, find out. I hope to see you guys over there. I hope. And let's go. Bye. Let's go do more giveaways and more videos oh that God. you guys want to do and more videos Say it again. in general and no ads in between the videos Say it again. and stuff like that. Let's just. Let's take our family over here and go have fun. Our else. family. <laughs> so I hope you guys are excited about this as well. Be sure to go subscribe over there because that's where the content. The party's happening on the paid side. It's going to be from now on other than a few over here, but that's where the content's going to be for the majority. And I hope to see you guys over there. I am so, so, so excited grateful for Great. all of your support in advance, even though I haven't read the comments yet. Like I know there's Let's gonna be so many comments. people who are so excited about this as well. I've been trying to listen to you guys Will and what y'all want, and this really seems like the best way to do that. So I have a feeling you guys are gonna be really excited. But influencers do this. I bet so many people have been asking me about my skin routine. Show me one person that asked about your skin routine. One. Show me one person who asked about this too so thank you guys so much for all of your support in advance and i'll see you guys over there Bye. all right all right all right so she's got forty-two thousand views on that and she just posted 35 minutes ago a video got one point thousand she sees her view counts are like in the shit and we're going to look at this pretty soon, too. We're going to go through all the family vloggers i've covered in the past year and a half go through their view counts about a year and a half ago and then we're going to go to where they are right now so this is uh, the huge announcement video. I'm going to pause it. Oh, don't, don't play. Thank you. I'm doing a giveaway. I thought you were allowed to do giveaways on YouTube. When people would say YouTube won't last forever, I wouldn't believe it. But now I see. They've ruined such a good thing. And Instagram is headed in the same direction. So happy for content creators like you stand up for themselves. Okay. Love Meg has made hundreds of thousands of dollars on YouTube. Do not feel sorry for her. YouTube has made it possible for her to vacuum the side of her bed and make hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's all YouTube. And now you and now Love Meg is upset because she can't post a video of her talking about some other shit and she all of a sudden hates YouTube. Love Meg owes everything she has to YouTube, by the way. That's Look, I'm not saying that YouTube is always the, is the best of the best of the best. But for people like this, she owes everything she has to YouTube. <laughs> it's very cheap and reasonable to go over and subscribe to her new platform. It's no different in going to get a burger meal. <laughs> yeah, but a burger meal tastes good. People go support this brave, beautiful soul. You get a lot of these. I really know that YouTube does that. Hope it works out for you. Won't be able to afford a subscription. Like most of her fans that watch her that are her true stands, there's no way they can afford this. Because people who spend their entire day on YouTube watching people clean, they don't have money because they spend their entire day on YouTube watching people clean. Not a lot of disposable income there. Most people say they watch it on their app on the TV. I can't do that on your private site. Maybe they can. Hey, man, I got to give it to her. There's a whole bunch of her subscribers saying, I'm buying this. I'm going to go watch you. I'd like to see how long it lasts. Oh, so this is the six. So, so it's 875 a month or 625 because that's what it says on the website for monthly subscription. Also, the videos that will be uploaded. So this Elizabeth says it's 875. If you get one month, you pay 625 if you pay for the year up front, which is still false advertisement. It should say 625 if you pay upfront for one year. Still false advertisement. 
A lot, of, a lot of people saying yes, a lot of people saying no. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see. So there you go, everybody. Love Meg decided that YouTube that made her hundreds of thousands of dollars helped her husband quit her job, helped them buy an incredible, beautiful home and cars and trips and Disney cruises and everything else. They can suck her ass. That's basically what she's saying right now. Everything that she has is because of YouTube. She got lucky. Hey, Roni. She got lucky. That's all that is. And now she's like, F you, YouTube. I can't make a video on cleaning in my underpants. Well, screw you. I'm going to go do my OnlyFans on my own fan thing. Anyway, it's going to be, I don't know. We'll see. I don't think it's going to succeed. I don't. Um, and maybe it will. Maybe she's going to spark something and all these creators will just leave YouTube. <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, she's very ungrateful at any rate. A lot of people will thank their fans, and yes, you should thank your fans, but YouTube has created a platform for people who can make money by making videos. Do you understand that? Do you understand how lucky these people have it? I'm, I understand how lucky I am. My wife and I do our month, our Monday skate, and today I just was saying to her, I'm like, do you understand how effing lucky we are that I get to pay for your school and put a little bit of money away on the side, and all I have to do is sit down in front of a camera and talk? Do you understand how crazy that is? That is crazy. Okay, YouTube has made that possible. So I want to thank YouTube. I'm not saying that they are perfect. Obviously, they still allow ch children being exploited on here. They are not perfect, but they do allow this. They allow a lot of people to make a lot of money who normally couldn't, right? In any other regular job. So you got to give YouTube props to some degree. I will anyway. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Don't spray that before the deep breath, all right? Cool. You're amazing, beautiful, kind, and just super damn valuable. Don't you ever forget it. I will see you tomorrow. Oh my God, it's so good. Yeah.